in the world of input collection there should be some form of validations for example if i talk about a form on an any website or something like that we may get drop down lists to choose a value from so we cannot give random values in terraform how do you control that and why we need to control some variables or that means values to the variables we'll check that shown so let's do one thing i have already logged into google cloud console and i went into the cloud storage bucket i don't have any bucket as of now what i will quickly do i'll click on this activate cloud shell at the top corner now it is launching my cloud shell okay what i will do i have already pushed a code in my github repository obviously the link will be in that description i'll click on code button click on this copy button this is copied simply wherever my directory is i'll put git clone the link as it is a public one it will not ask you for any authentication and if i put ls the devops youtube is there so let's go into this folder i need to go into this terraform folder and this is our episode number 11 so let me go to episode number 11 ep11 and there are some files okay or maybe let me discuss what i have written it is simply creating one storage bucket on google cloud it can be used for any other resources on any cloud it takes four inputs one is the name another is the project or the project id the location or region where it wants to create and labels or tags and if i go to variable section so you'll see some standard variables are being used mainly string types and one is map for for the tags and in the region you'll see this is a string type and validation i'll come to that later as of now there is no validation and in the tf verse what i've given region as abcd not a real value and let's see what happens so terraform in it initializes and is successful terraform plan so plan will not know what is going to happen finally so let me put terraform apply terraform auto approve with that and as soon as we do that we get an error specified location is not valid obviously we have given abcd a random value obviously if we give a genuine value it will create we know that but how do you control that we can simply include one block in one variable and let me remove the comments this is what our discussion point for this episode we can add validation this block and we have two parameters i'll say one is condition what is the condition you want to check and let's elaborate what i am doing here i say contains some locations i have given in that list basically if you see the square bracket this is a list and i am checking the value of where dot region itself my variable name is region so where dot region means the value which user has given in the tf verse or any other form and that should match only these three locations for now just for our discussion and one error message if the value is not genuine that means if it is not in the list what error we want to print simple the validation block it is saved and let me push it git add git push what i'll quickly do let me git pull because this is a public repo now my file is updated and at this time let me hit terraform plan and we still have the abcd file as soon as i run terraform plan i get an error an error says the value should be from one of the approved regions that is how you can control your users inputs and meanwhile this list allows three regions us west one europe west two and asia south one let's take some other value and let's see what it does i will use nano i'll update this value paste save and exit out of it and let me and let me run terraform plan again obviously it will throw an error this is how you can control users input and they should not be allowed in other regions this kind of things we can control let's put a real value as per the list we have created instead of two one is allowed asia south one let's do that and yeah i'm missing one more thing i need to update the project id we are all done save exit out of it let's run terraform plan again this time it is showing it is going to add one bucket only one resource that's good terraform apply now auto approve and here we go and that's a good story let me refresh it and it is created this was a small exercise where we can control our input variables for terraform thanks for watching see you in some next amazing videos